Bruxolinib is currently our frontline therapy for patients with myelofibrosis, in particular those with intermediate to and high risk disease, uh, in, in those individuals that we're not choosing to go for a stem cell transplant first. Uh, additionally, there are roles for symptomatic patients with intermediate one risk disease uh, and even subsets of patients with low risk disease. Allogeneic stem cell transplants are only curative therapy for myelofibrosis. So we look at a variety of factors in terms of is that our initial therapy or will that be a therapy that is a backup? Patients in which I consider that as initial therapy are those who are young, have a good donor, and are very high risk. They too may have ruxolitinib or therapy pre-transplant, uh, but they'll be going to transplant more directly. The majority of patients, because of lack of an adequate donor, because of choice, because of risk with the disease, a variety of factors will choose to go on medical therapy first, uh, given the significant upfront risk with transplant, uh, and for them, ruxolitinib will be uh, the first-line therapy. At the moment, it's not clear that any combination is yet superior to single-agent ruxolitinib, so I think there are valuable clinical trials that continue to evolve. But at the moment, I'm not yet recommending to any of my colleagues to be using any of these combinations in the clinic outside of the setting of a clinical trial. So in patients who have failed ruxolitinib, we're really looking at two different types of therapies. The first are alternative JAK inhibitors, uh, of which there's two in advanced testing. Both pacritinib and mamalitinib are in very mature phase three programs, which are being analyzed to see the impact on splenomegaly and symptoms uh, and potentially improvement in cytopenias, both as frontline and potentially as second line therapy. Uh, and depending upon the outcome of those studies, uh, one or both of those agents might become commercially available at some point in the near future. Second is really alternative pathway inhibitors. One, targeting the fibrosing pathway with the agent PRM151, currently in a randomized phase two study. The second, the telomerase inhibitor, imidostat. Mm -hmm. 